Hi. Clever, isn't it? You're cute. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities <laughs> like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Okay. She just wants loving. I know. Oh, my baby girl. You know you're pouring. Oh my gosh, cute. No time to waste. You have classes to attend. Yeah. That's and here job. we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so mm. to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes. Ooh. Too. And I'd like to be sure hey. to get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Perfect Judging for Ravenclaw. Judging by your adept use of the mm -hmm. earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story now? than a search okay. for belongings and an extended trip up to nice. the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the sure. basics of spellcasting. Ah, oh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm. well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in you studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? No, no. Hey, get that out of your mouth. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Baby. Yes, wow, well, very Professor astute. Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. <laughs> it's right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to done. guide you. Go on. Speaking of guides, Aww. and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. 
Flying pages. I think you're supposed to catch those, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well. Oh, there you go. It's raining. blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic. Well done. Cool. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This can't be your first duel. Just only all of my students for this adept. Oops. Things. I do Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Let him you good. Take How perceptive. Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Not bad. Not bad mm -hmm. for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the Points challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor. That's Hattie. right. 
glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of <laughs> Grindelows entirely. Kettle of Grindelows, huh? So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments.